Starts Nuts and welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm going to be reviewing the Condor Zero Stress All-in-One Stems and Flights. Um, you've probably seen me on some soft tip videos where I've used these before and I've always said that it's about time I did a review on them. I think I was probably one of the first people to get a set in the UK when they first came out quite a few years ago um, but not many shops were stocking them then so you could only get them from uh, like Japan and what have you but now all the UK stock shops stock them so they're a lot easier to get hold of now um, they come in a lot of different uh, colours and you can also get ones with patterns on and there's three sizes you get small, medium or large and there's all the various shapes that you could want for uh, you know like kite, slim, fan, fan tail so there's a lot to choose from, um, but all I've got here is the mediums. I've got the small uh, standard, the normal standard, and the slim. Um, but I have used them quite often over the years. Um, I'm quite a fan of them, actually. Uh, it's probably the most flexible all-in-one stem and flight out of all the integrated ones. And these retail for £5.95, so let's check them out. So the flights come in these little uh, blister packs, uh, I'm just going to look at the standard shape one and like I said there's lots of uh, colours and there's also lots of flights with different patterns on, uh, quite a vast array and too much to mention really so you'd have to go on the website but the, the three main sizes is small, medium and large and it tells you on the pack there that it's medium 27.5 millimeter and it tells you that it's the standard shape um, there was something quite funny on the back though it says um, this product is not to be eaten do not eat and refrain from putting it into your mouth so tell that to Phil Taylor <laughs> anyway like I said I've used Condor flights before and uh, there's a lot of systems out now and these have been out quite a while and quite popular with a lot of people and I quite like throwing with them and uh, I had one set that lasted quite a long time so like a lot of the systems some lasted a long time and some got a bit unlucky and didn't last long but even when I had them broke I was still throwing okay with them but what I like about these is that they're very bendy really flexible probably the uh, most bendy all-in-one flights almost feels as if it's like paper but the thing is it tends to go back into shape so no matter how much you bend it it, it pretty much returns to its normal shape but sometimes you can just manipulate it a little bit but quite light and obviously with molded flights you've got your perfect 90 degree angle and these are the medium and this is an in-between stem so it's about the same size as an in-between so I'll show you a close-up of it now so there you go the close-up of the Condor Zero Stress Flights I've showed you close-up of, the, of these before but anyway is the full review of one and as you can see it's a perfect 80 degree angle and it's got these kind of grooves cut along the stem so for soft tippers they'll obviously last longer but I know plenty of steel tippers have been using them as well and like I said it is very bendy I mean you can really bend it all over the place and it tends to pretty much go back into shape but sometimes you just gotta give it a little bit of manipulation but as you can see the wings are very bendy so obviously the fact that it's bendy means it can move out the way of an incoming dart so that's basically it so this is a normal uh, deflected grip in between nylon stem with a 100 micron poly flight and that's 1.82 grams and this is the medium size Condor standard shape all-in-one 
flight and stem and that's 1.3837 grams Um, like I said, I've used these flights before, and quite a few sets actually. I'm quite um, keen on them. Don't know if it's because the flight and the stem is actually quite light that it may be uh, better for me as a front gripper because the uh, dart is a little bit more front weighted that way. But. Um, Flights, uh, the flight of the dart with them on is quite smooth and that's one thing I like as well but obviously with me always whacking my chin the fact that the flights don't come off and I don't have to mess about picking flights up off the floor and uh, sticking them on the stems that's quite good for me as well especially when you haven't got great eyesight but the fact that they're so bendy may put some people off, but um, it kind of finds its, itself back into position. It's almost like it's a memory kind of plastic, but you can also manipulate it a little bit if it doesn't go back straight away and make it uh, go into position yourself. But I've had them last quite a while. Um, quite a few people on the forum have, have used them a lot and they've lasted well. So I'm not going to throw them forever. So what I'll do now is um, I'll just see if I can get some slow motion shots of them making contact just to see whether you can see them bending or anything. So I'll do that and then I might do a a slow more of them flying through the air. So there you go, that's the Condor Zero Stress all in one stems and flights. Um, probably the most flexible flight around at the moment. I don't know if there's any more flexible than these, but like I said, I've used them before and uh, I quite like them. Um, but like a lot of the systems that are out now, um, it's worth trying them just once just to see whether or not they'll suit you and some people will like them some people won't but that's the same as everything with darts you've got to try it and see but i'll say these are worth a try and um, not really much else i can say because not much point in me throwing them anymore really and like i said some people have been using them a long time on the forum and they're happy with them and I've used them plenty of times in the past as well and I have quite a few in my draw so um, I've got a few sets that I've got them on and I'm quite keen on them so I would say definitely give them a try so that's the end of the review thanks for watching